Let's go through my top 10 grails. What's going on comic friends, it's Ryan the Colossus Collector and thank you once again for stopping by my channel. So as I said in the opening, today we're talking about grails. What's a grail? Yeah, sure, fictional child that's in my comic room. Uh, a grail is a comic book that you reserve a place on your wall for. Keeps you up at night. Haunts your waking hours. Kings would abdicate for. My kingdom for an X-Men one. Makes you sob uncontrollably in the shower over. And when you get it, husbands gladly take a few nights on the couch. Your wallet could get violent. You son of a bitch! And you become completely obsessed with it. Well, now that we all know what a comic book grail is, let's get into my top 10 grail list. So this is the 10 books I most covet for my personal collection in all the world. This is also, you know, the the... The order in which I, I hold them uh, in esteem for my personal uh, collection. So, number one being the one I want most on down to ten. I also think I'll be going after them uh, in this order, one to ten, uh, over the course of my collecting career, my collecting life. But, of course, things can change. Deals pop up. Opportunities arise. So, I'm sure it will not end up being in this order, but... Uh, it's definitely 1 to 10 for me, but a top 10 list can't start at 1. So we're going to start at 10 with this one. Number 10. So number 10 is Fantastic Four. Number 5, beautiful Jack the King Kirby art story by Stan Lee, the one and only. And this, of course, is the very first appearance of... Probably Marvel's most well-known and most established and famous villain, Doctor Doom. A menacing villain that I'm sure we're all hoping we're going to see on the silver screen sooner rather than later. Just such an iconic villain. And this book is an absolute grail book. It's almost a tragedy that it's 10 on my list because it is such a great, incredible book. But I just have, you know, other books that I, I want a little bit more than this one. And uh, nonetheless, this is an incredible grail that I hope one day I will have on my wall as part of my PC. Number nine. At number nine, We've got Fantastic Four, number 49. Story by Stan Lee, artwork by Jack Kirby. I think we're starting to develop a little bit of a trend here. This is, of course, the first full appearance of Galactus and the second appearance of Silver Surfer, as well as the first cover appearance of the Silver Surfer. A truly iconic book. Now. Obviously, there's kind of a holy trinity there of 48, 49, and 50. I already have 50. I really like 49. 49 is my favorite out of the three. Of course, 48 is the first appearance of Silver Surfer, but I gotta admit, 49 is the cover for me, and that's why it landed here on my top 10 grail list. I love that cover, that truly amazing Jack Kirby artwork. It's iconic, and that's why Fantastic Four 49 is number nine on my top 10 grail list. Number eight. All right, so at number eight, we've got the one and only Fantastic Four number one story by Stan Lee, artwork by Jack the King Kirby. And this is the book that really kickstarts the Marvel renaissance in the silver age that really got superhero 
books just flying off the shelves for Marvel. This one along with Amazing Fantasy 15 really uh, are incredible, the, probably the two most coveted incredible grails just because of how early they were and their significance to Marvel. I've got it at eight, which seems almost like a crime, but uh, you know, it's 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 a book I truly want, but I've got other ones I wanna go after first and uh, I wanna get in my PC before this one. Um, nonetheless, an incredible book and uh, I'm happy it's part of my top 10. Number seven. At number seven, I've got The Avengers number one, story by Stan Lee, artwork by Jack the King Kirby. This is the first time that Thor, Iron Man, Hulk, Ant-Man come together and form the Avengers team. The Avengers, as you know from the MCU, from the movies, have become a household name, uh, truly an iconic brand, and to own their first appearance would be something incredible. I'm also a big fan of the Avengers, and uh, it would just be so awesome to have that first appearance, that first team up book in my PC. It's also one of those crown jewel first appearance uh, grail books from the Marvel Silver Age, so definitely one I want in my PC. Number six. Next up, we've got Tales of Suspense number 39, the very first appearance of Tony Stark and Iron Man, a awesome, huge Marvel key, one of the, the crown jewel Marvel keys and first appearances. This is a story by Stan Lee and Le Larry Lieber, and you've got artwork by Jack Kirby and Don Heck. An iconic book, Iron Man, one of my favorite uh, characters on the Avengers, and uh, really, really would love to add Tales of Suspense 39 to my PC. Number five. At number five, we've got Marvel Spotlight number five. The first appearance of Johnny Blaze as Ghost Rider, and this is, in my opinion, one of the top three Bronze Age keys from Marvel. Of course, this is Gary Friedrich story and Mike Plug art. I don't know what it is about Ghost Rider, but I've really uh, come to just like the character. I want to get um, Ghost Rider keys. I do already have a Ghost Rider number one, so I need that Marvel Spotlight 5 to pair with it. It's number five on my top 10 list. Number four. At number four, I've got Iron Man number one, this amazing Gene Colon cover, and you might be saying, what the heck, you've got Iron Man 1 over Tales of Suspense 39 at 6. I just love this Iron Man cover. I've been coveting it ever since the first, my first year in, uh, in collecting. Uh, I had it actually as a target, uh, as a goal for last year, but swapped it out uh, when an X-Men 94 came up that I couldn't pass up. So I, end, I didn't end up getting it, and I've kind of been putting it on the back burner now as I go for some other books ahead of it, and that's why, though, it's still so high on my list at number four. I love this book. I can't wait to get it one day. Uh, part of those big premiere issues, I uh, just really have a, a soft spot for this book. And uh, that's why it's number four on my Grails list. Number three. At number three, you know I had to have this one on my list. It's Hulk 181, the first full appearance of my fellow Canadian Wolverine, AKA Logan. Some might call it his second appearance, not getting into that debate. But Hulk 21 is definitely the money book when it comes to the cover art and uh, the most sought after. It's definitely the one I want most out of the two of them. And that uh, Herb Trempy art, Len Wein story, gotta have that in my PC. It's um, one of those top three Bronze Age keys. 
that uh, I mentioned earlier. If I get this one along with that Marvel Spotlight number five and my giant size X-Men number one, which I already have, I'll have that top three uh, Bronze Age key uh, trifecta. I know there's other big Bronze Age books, first Thanos, first Moon Knight, uh, there's a, a, a bunch, but uh, I think those three are like the, the, the cream of the crop when it comes to the Bronze Age. So definitely want to get all three of those on my wall in my PC. So number three, Hulk 181. You knew I had to get in some X-Men eventually. Of course, it's at the top of the list. Number two. So we're down to number two. As I said on number three, I'm a big X-Men guy. You know that from watching my channel. Of course, number two is filled with an X-Men book and it is none other than X-Men number four. Beautiful Jack Kirby cover, Stan Lee story. And this of course is the first appearance of Scarlet Witch, Quicksilver, and the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants that includes Mastermind and Toad and uh, you know that group uh, not necessarily the, all those characters becomes a big antagonist for uh, the X-Men into uh, the future of the X-Men history and sto storyline of course Scarlet Witch and, and Quicksilver uh, they're the, the children of Magneto, but also go on to play big roles in, in the Avengers. So huge characters, big, huge X-Men key. And uh, I, I absolutely love that cover. I have number five. I can't wait to pair it with an X-Men number four. And that is my number two on my Grail top 10 list. Number one. And at number one. You already know, it's my goal for the year. It's X-Men number one by Stan Lee and Jack Kirby. The first appearance of the X-Men team in Marvel Comics, in any comics. It's the first appearance of mutants in the Marvel world. It's the first appearance of Cyclops, Jean Grey, Beast, Iceman, Angel, Professor X, and Magneto. Their greatest foe, sometimes friend. That book is iconic. It's my most coveted book in all the world. Once I have an X-Men 1, I've got all the big X-Men keys in my PC and I couldn't be more excited to get it. Whenever that happens, it'll be an awesome uh, achievement and accomplishment for my comic collecting. And I absolutely love that book. It'll look real good somewhere over here on my shelf. So that's my top 10 Grail comic books. It's going to take a long, hard road to get to completing all those 10. I'm sure some other ones will pop up. I'll end up getting along the way. It all depends on what uh, Lady Luck and, uh, and good hard work looking for those books brings. And uh, I'm certainly excited to continue to collect and strive for those big grails to have a pc with all those books would be pretty amazing to look at and to uh and to look back on the journey of collecting them that's why we're all in this hobby that chase for those amazing books so i uh i hope that you enjoyed uh a little bit of perspective on the books and how I rate, rank them and how I want them. What are your Grail books? I'm sure a lot of the books on my list would be on yours. What about books that aren't on my list? Let me know in the comment section. And if you're not already, please consider subscribing to the channel. We're already over a thousand, but let's not stop there. Let's keep driving upwards and onwards. Thank you for watching. And if you liked this video, why don't you check out a couple of my recent top 10 videos that I've done on the channel. And until the next time, keep collecting.